Hi, this is Bruno. Thank you for listening to the songs in my channel. This LP vinyl is Beethoven str String Quartet in E minor, OP number 59, number 2. The first, second, and the third movements. The Amadeus Quartet performed. This vinyl was released in on Deutsche Grammophon label in 1972 and the condition of the vinyl is very good in spite of the long period of time. It was played with no actually it was played by with this vintage tube turntable so this is Philips AG4116 tube turntable so there are four vacuum tubes. Let me turn it on again for you. So there are four vacuum tubes inside this vintage turntable. And this one was made in West Germany in 1962. And still it is working beautifully. And also, I hope to do some review about some of my LP vinyl sets that I have. So, the first one is this. Beethoven, the six early quartets, OP number 18. So, let's see this one first. So, this is the cover art. And this one was released on RCA Red Seal label and there are three LP records inside this set. Also, the Cleveland Quartet performed. And this is the portrait of young Beethoven. And this is the old one. So this is the cover art. And let's look at the back of the LP vinyl box and as I told you this is the six early quartets OP number 18 so number one two three four five and six and these four people are the Cleveland quartet so Peter Seloff, Donald Wellerstein, Martha Strongin Katz and Paul Katz also, this one was released in 1980 and printed in USA. So let me <coughs> let me open the box for you. Let's open it. So this is the information booklet. Let's take it out. So Cleveland Quartet, Beethoven, the six early quartets. So here you can see some explanation about the. Cleveland Quartet and some inter interpretive considerations of the Beethoven Quartet. And let's move on. As I told you, this one was released in 1980. So here you can see the sketch in Beethoven's hand from 1980.
from OP number 130. Very interesting. And some other notes. This is the back of the information booklet. So this is the LP vinyl. So RCA Red Seal label. And there should be three LP vinyls. The first one, the second one, and the third one. And they are very clean in spite of the long period of time. So I am sure that I can play this LP vinyl for you soon. Now let's move on to the second LP vinyl set. So this is the lives and music of Bach, Beethoven, Chopin, and Mozart, the titans of classical music. So it was released on Meet the Classics label. And let's look at the cover art first. So I can see the four very cartoon-like pictures for the four uh, legendary composers. So he should be Bach, Beethoven, Chopin, and Mozart. So with this picture, basically we can understand like this one was made for uh, some youngsters. Let's open the box for you. So this is the information booklet. So some chronology for batch and some explanation and here here for Beethoven and Chopin and Mozart and this one was released in 1977 So, let's see the cover art once again. So this one was written by Marianne Granda and narrated by Arthur Hans. And interestingly, the music by Otto Klemperer, the famous Otto Klemperer, and Yasha Horenstein and J. Perley conducted and Vienna Symphony Orchestra performed. And also for the soloist, Alfred Brendel, the famous Alfred Brendel, and Walter Kraft and M. Gelling and others performed. So let's see the LP vinyl itself. So the first one is L Ludwig van Beethoven, the his story and his music, part one. So this one was made in USA in 1977. The side two is also Van Beethoven. So next one is Johann Sebastian Bach. So that means there should be four LP vinyls. So Bach again. And the next one is Chopin. So it is Chopin, Fre Frederick Chopin, History and His Music. And the back of it. The last one is Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. So there are four LP vinyls. Also, I am sure that I can play these LP vinyls for you sometime later. This is 
The Lives of Mu and Music of Bach, Beethoven, Chopin and Mozart. And let me show you one more LP vinyl set that I have. So this is Brahms and Schumann String Quartet. So this is a complete set. So the Cohen Quartet of New York University performed. So this is complete in one volume. So this one was released on Vox label. Let's open it for you. So this is the information booklet. So for Brahms, there are three quartets and for Schumann, another three. So as I told you, Cohen Quartet of New York University performed. So this one was printed in USA. Okay. So this is the LP vinyl itself. Let me take out for you. So this is side three, Brahms and Schumann string quartet. But this one is for Schumann. Number quartet number three in A major, OP number forty one, number three. Okay, so there are one, two, and three LP vinyls in this set. All right. So that is my brief review for this Brahms and Schumann string quartet. So that was my brief review about three of my LP vinyl sets and Beethoven string quartet in E minor, op number 59, number 2, first, second and third movement. This one was from Beethoven Bicentennial Collection on Deutsche Grammophon and this one was released this Beethoven Bicentennial Collection was released in 1972 as a matter of fact between 1970 and 1972 so that was the 200th anniversary of Beethoven's birthday so that's why it became Beethoven Bicentennial Collection so this is a string quartet volume number 7 and let me show you the actual information booklet for Beethoven Bicentennial Collection, Volume Number Seven, String Quartet, Part One. So this is the portrait of Beethoven. And there are and there are five epivinyls in this set and I chose string quartet side number four string quartet in E minor op number 59 number two so there are three movements the first one second one and the third one and on the next side side number five the first one the fourth movement you can listen to. As I told you, this one was released in 1972. So, thank you for listening to the song and my review. And I hope you had a pleasant time. Thank you again and see you next time. Bye!